welcome back to the channel uh, before we get started you know what to do uh, hit like share and subscribe to this channel um, yesterday uh, I was uh, I was a little down because of uh, you know uh, the whole situation in Iran with uh, uh, you know with all that stuff today I came across this this story from I can't do this anymore guys <laughs> this is just stupid ridiculous uh, people are getting stupid and stupider by the day so uh, if you guys know I started this channel because you know um, at first of all it was because of the election and then uh, it was the school curriculum and all that stuff and in most of you guys know how I feel about you know kids in school education proper education all that stuff so which brings me to this fun fun story um I'm sure you guys have seen this picture this is a picture of a teacher who dresses like this in classrooms those are fake prosthetics, boobies, tits, whatever you want to call them. Those are fake. That's how he dresses up in school. Um, and, of course, parents have no say in it. The school backs it up. This is in Canada. But Canada and here, almost the same process, I guess. Uh, school defends gender rights of trans teacher with giant prosthetic breasts. A Canadian school board is standing behind a trans teacher who, spe who sparked protest after turning up to classes with clownish giant prosthetic breasts. The blonde, the blonde high school teacher went viral after being filmed operating a cutoff saw in class while wearing tight black shorts and balloon-like breasts dropping around the waist in tight striped top. Other images taken by uh, people at the school in Oakville, about 20 miles outside of Toronto, showed the same teacher in other outfits. The huge nipples protruding from the fake bust. The Halton District School Board confirmed that the person getting significant attention online was an, uh, an Oakville High School teacher and refused to identify the, te the educator. Pick one. Teacher or educator? Which one? Uh, it refused to identify the educator while warning that the wrong person had been named in online reports. Some disturbed pupils have skipped classes held by the Oakville Industrial Art teacher who began identifying as female last year. Voila. And voila. That's disgusting, guys. The kids here most definitely don't think it's normal, but realistically, we can't say anything. The paper quoted on pupil, pupil as having tweeted. But I don't think the school can fire the teacher who still identifies as a man last year, the pupil said. Halton District School Board Chair Margot uh, Shuttleworth also confirmed there have already been protests and angry complaints. I don't know there have been phone calls made to the school that haven't been the most pleasant in nature. Shuttleworth told the Toronto Sun. The board was creating a safety plan for the teacher to make sure she is protected and can continue leading classes amid the protest, the board chair said. Protecting gender rights is the stance the school board is taking and they are standing behind the teacher. I mean, come on. This is just... This is absurd, man. This is pedophilia, man. This is like, this is, uh, they're, they're acting out their sexual desire in classrooms now. This is bullshit. This is absolute bullshit. I mean, I swear if this person 
or any people dress like this in front of my kids, I don't know what I would do. I, I would not be sitting silent. Um, this is bullshit. The school needs to take a stance. Screw the transgender right crap. This is pornography in front of children, man. This is not right. This is not a normal behavior. This person needs help. This person's sick in the head. This person's sick in the head. Next thing you know, people are gonna strap in on dildos and walking around the school board, the school school campuses. I'm just expressing myself. I'm a transgender. Blah 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 blah. blah. So that's your ticket. Is that the pass? You wear whatever the hell you want, and you say I'm a trans, and that's it. You get a free pass, and you can do whatever the hell you want. Or dress like that in front of children, in front of minors. I might add. These are minors. This is absolutely disturbing. Again, it's Canada. You know, they get uh, Fedor Castro's son running the country. I mean, who cares, right? Um, more power to those parents who are protesting, but the school needs to step up. This is this is why we've had this issue with these transgender rights crap, because um, their inclusion, exclusion, whatever the exclusion they want to bring in, their equity, equality crap. This is what we talk about. We try to shove it down people's throat. You give them an inch, they take a mile. A mile is not enough. They want to take ten miles. Um, what happened to living a normal life? This is not normal. This is not normal living. You are single-handedly traumatizing children. You don't know what that does to little kids. You don't know what that does to children who are going to school. You have zero clue how disturbing these things are. Do you think dressing in a sexual nature is good for children? For kids? For young adults, I should say? Many, 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 many therapists. And I, I listen to this uh, uh, psychiatrist almost daily. He has a radio show and people call in with a bunch of problems. And, you know, he's studied uh, child behavior for 40 years. And, man, he talks about this all the time. He talks about this all the time, how this disturbing images or actions can ruin a child's life. Psychologically, they can be completely destroyed. And, of course, reporters who are also the morons of the nation at this point, they will single-handedly pick a single person who would agree with this garbage. And they'll write a report on it. So that's how this is how news works, right? Like you, you'll pick somebody who's for the narrative and approves it and has some sort of stupid degree from an uncredited college, and you know they'll talk about it. But somebody like Matt Walsh goes and you know get these psych psychologists or whatever, he puts him on TV or you know, he puts him in front of camera and asks him about these uh, medication who castrizes children, you know, who who are actually, they're giving these kids poison. And they're like, I'm not going to talk about this anymore. They just shut up. Right? They won't talk about it. They won't say anything. This is the problem. I read something about, oh, you know, the migrants who were bused to D.C., you know, they got the last laugh. One of them is making $700 a month, uh, a week, and, you know, he's planning to buy a used car. One, one guy out of hundreds, one guy out of a hundred plus people was able to get a job and make $700 a week. What about the rest? Are they all making $700 a week? Then you can make the title as they are having the last laugh you morons 
You know, this is this is the most disturbing thing I've seen, you know, till now. This is very disturbing. This is the uh, you know, I think the parents should sue the school for promoting uh, pedophilia mindset and promoting uh, sexual content in school in front of minors. I think that would be a win case because this is exactly what they're doing. This is absolutely unacceptable. This is a lawsuit where if this was here, I will bring a, you know, people here will bring a lawsuit to this because this is actually providing openly sexual content to minors. This is 100% sexual uh, sexual behavior. This is 100% uh, promoting sexual content. This teacher is living its pedo life in front of the students. Whatever is sickening going on in his head. And covered under trans, they are allowing this individual to dress like this in front of the kids, minors. I'm going to keep repeating the word minors. These are pedos. Okay? And I don't accept the term MAP, which is minor attractive person. That's a bullshit, bullshit statement. You are a pedophile. In Farsi, they're called bachebas, meaning they play with kids. This is not acceptable. Uh, this is, you know, those parents need to step it up. Take this to your Canadian court system if it still functions as a court system. I don't know. You know, they'll the, the probably have people like this running around in there too. But, you know, if the school district... Obviously, the school districts are just jacked up to begin with. I mean, I'm talking about our own as well. You know, um, now, one of the... His, here's the funny part. A little bit off topic. But one of our school uh, the uh, uh, school board members now is running for... Uh, a house representative what are the odds right interesting anyways guys i'm gonna end it right here please leave your comments down below let me know what you think peace out